do you ever think about what it would have been like if Webb stayed and you got to be his training partner, you know, in college, both were the same kid at the same time? Yeah, Alan and I, Alan and I are still good friends today, and we've had some um, some great times hanging out together. He came to New Zealand for a couple of months um, back in 2010 to do some training with us. But to be honest, I think it was the best thing for my career, the fact that he, he moved on. I'm not sure whether it was the right call for him or not. I, have, I haven't even really evaluated that. But I came into college as a freshman pretty heavily undertrained. I was running sort of 40, 50, 60 Ks a week in high school, um, in my, my senior year <laughs> in high school. Um, and then suddenly I came to Ann Arbor and started running 60 or 70 miles a week. So I was multiplying it by almost double um, and Alan's freshman year, there's, it's all, there's been enough stuff written about this in books, the sub four book by Chris Lear and in magazine articles, but he was basically setting workout records twice a week for all the different, um, unique workouts that we have here around the Ann Arbor area. And when he, when he left town, it sort of took the burden off of all of the other guys on the team. They're like, oh that was exhausting trying to hang on to him and treating every workout like a race. Now let's just have fun this year. So my freshman year, the year Alan left, they all just said, let's just chill out. So every single workout, we were sort of just cruising, running 10 deep and talking the whole way through tempo runs and 1K and mile repeats in the fall and all that sort of stuff, which was the perfect transition for me to like, I was increasing my volume, so I didn't want to also increase the intensity at the same time. So it was the, a really great way for me to transition into this new type of training. And then once, um, once I realized that I was able to handle that sort of stuff, when it was time for me to up the intensity, I was able to train with Tim Bro, who was our assistant coach at the time and the American indoor record holder at 3K and um, ran third and 11 in the 5K. So I was able to do all my strength stuff with him separate of the team. And then all of my speed stuff, there were, unlimited guys to do that stuff with. So I think I really benefited from not having, as I said, not it's not healthy necessarily to have a head-to-head -head competitiveness with a training partner. It's better to sort of have your own areas of focus, but to, to help each other improve. And that's where Nate and I really flourished because we had different areas of focus on race weekend. You talk about how say it helped you with your training, but if all that talent though was on the same team at the same time, what do you think, like, the, like you guys all going to pen relays together and what that could have been like, you know, running a, a even faster four-by-mile than what you guys ran? Do you guys think about that? Like, If it had been managed right, perhaps it could have worked, but I really think that I probably would have gotten injured. And, I mean, Nate Brandon, his freshman year, was 128th at NCA Cross because he tried to do the training that, Nate, that Alan was doing. Everything was geared around Alan and... The next year when we had that fun year, Nate was like 22nd at NCA Cross. Like I think it does affect how you train and like what made Alan so amazing was the stuff that he could handle. He His body could withstand really high amounts of intensity. Um, I could never have trained the way that Alan did. I could never have trained the way Chris Selinski or Craig Mottram did. Like we each have our own sort of wheelhouse to work within and I was uh, thankfully able to, to find that that aligned up a lot with how Tim Bro trained. And I don't ever believe there's the best coach in the world. There's, it's about there's the right coach for the right athlete or the right situation for the right athlete. Not everyone works well to go to Bowman. Not everyone works well to come with Ron Warhurst. It's about aligning the, to find that right relationship with the athlete and the s system work best. And, um, I don't think I would have fit in a system where Alan was sort of the focal point.